Good morning, fellow traders. This is Austin. It is Thursday, 7.09 Eastern. It's sunrise. It's a beautiful morning. Been at work for about an hour. Uh, my new work schedule for quite some time, actually, is going to be roughly 6 a.m. Eastern to roughly noon Eastern. Occasionally, I will trade the afternoon shifts, but for the most part, I'm busy with outdoor projects, with personal recreation. And we can't let trading get in the way of that, now can we? <laughs> Which leads me to, this is a lesson, a life lesson that took me years and years and years to learn. The markets are active around the clock. And the greed factor inside of us wants to capture every move. You know, if you're away from the markets, now this is true. Tell me you haven't felt the same way. You're away from the markets, you come back to the screens, you see there was a substantial move or even a modest move. And the signal was there according to your methodology, and you could have taken it, and you feel regret and, you know, remorse and disappointment and, you know, all of that kind of thing. That's the greed in us. We na we're traders. We naturally want to catch every single trade that comes along. We don't want to miss anything. You know, that's just animal instinct. It's, it's human nature. But if you do this long enough, you will realize you cannot, nor do you need to, catch every single move or be present every single hour that the markets are open presenting opportunity you need to, you simply need to be present long enough often enough to capture some of that opportunity more than not and for the small percentage of absolute trading addicts for people who you know just focus their whole entire existence around trading and markets well there's that. You know, you can do that too. This is a free country. It's a free world in most places. But for me, my work day for now and for quite some time, um, with some exceptions, is 6 a.m. Eastern until noon. And so here I am. Crude oil made a tradable move from around 5 a.m. Eastern on the break lower. I was not here. The next um, sell signal confirm is going to be 67.10 area. So I'm um, pre-staged a couple ticks below which happens to be the session low also and uh, we'll see what happens so I'm um, in you know walk worst case scenarios it triggers and it um, stops out on the automated for minus eight ticks plus slippage if any best case scenario it dives right through and uh, you know keeps on running south so we'll see what happens 7 12 Eastern Okay, how about an update? It is 7.48. One thing about uh, the, the pre-market price action in crude oil, it's not nearly as, well, <laughs> of course it's freaking out now, it's not nearly as spastic as, uh, famous last words, the, the pit session is. But anyway, I'm not sure what the hell, I'll just hit the tape there. Some kind of news at 7.48. You can see how they're wigging and putting in this tail. Uh, regardless, as discussed, sell signal was confirmed, took that, price broke down, pulled back up, prior support, then resistance, um, trading lower, and has created new lows, so I have trailed to um, one tick better than entry, and I'm looking for 40, 50 ticks, like I always am, or greater. 300 would be nice, but let's be realistic. Uh, so this this um, example here needs to go just a little bit lower than the current lows, and I would uh, trail down. So the result of this is either going to be plus 40 or or par. Plus 40 or better, or par, one of the two. Anything in the middle is um, a non-performing trade. So see how it goes, 749. Okay, I'm back, and uh, we got a lot going on here. I was in the middle. I'm uh, posting in the team site, and we got price wigging out. So well, let me manage things here, and we'll go from there. It was uh, the initial short was in for more than 90 minutes, and it uh, I had a trailed stop of plus one tick, and it uh, spiked out at minus one tick for two tick slippage. And then I was short in the same general area, and now price is uh, slamming down. Now that we've we begun the pit session, we got the violence of um, pit movement. So anyway, I want, uh, if I can get a stop at 40, there it is. No, let's pop back up to it. 
watching price on the ticker here. Whipping the usual on um, pit session whippage. Yeah, release it. As soon as they open the pit, the algos go wild. Uh, there was just a little bit of uh, stop gun hunting earlier. I will recap here when possible. But um, essentially, short from the 67, 67, um, let me see, where in the hell was it? 6705, <clears throat> and then um, 67. 85 I believe it is and what happened was I, I chronicled it in the I might as well just put the put the uh, live room minutes up here along with this post then it'll give the explanation but basically price went up did a stop gun and then it collapsed back down through um, the the sequence that we were working before and when that happens when you get a failed up successful down um, pattern sequence or the, the reverse um, fail down successful up in other words when it fails to keep going one way and it reverses course and goes the opposite that's usually money because the people on the failed side of the pattern are um, scrambling to get out and then the people on the successful side are scrambling to get in so you have two different parties um, for two different reasons moving in the same direction that's powerful and uh, the result is plus 87 ticks on uh, the c combination of two different sell orders. One was a pullback situation and one was a breakdown situation from the sequences that we work. And there was slippage involved everywhere on, uh, on all uh, the fills both ways on just one or two lots. Markets are really thin. I mean, God help you if you're trying to turn 20 or, or so contracts here. The slippage would cut your head off in the partial fills. But, you know, for working um, one or two contracts or whatever, it's fine. So, anyway, 901 Eastern, the open of the pit and the Wild West show. Okay, <clears throat> back at it, actually. Let's flip symbols. So, we finished 87 ticks in crude. And then I've been minus eight ticks, plus eight ticks, both shorts in the Russell from this area. And now um, <clears throat> short one more time. So that's the, and, and if this one stopped, then I'm done. So give it that third try. <clears throat> and it projects two. He says, well, 40, 50 ticks anyway to start with, and it projects uh, further than that. So, see what happens. It is uh, 10, 15 Eastern. Okay. Still short TF from the 11748 zone, and then again, um, 722. Blended average, blended stop. What I'm risking here is giving back the unrealized gains from 748 to... 735 that would be 13 ticks that means less to me than the potential of um, riding two on this confirmation this was a secondary sell signal in the 1172 plus area and so that's what I've done and I'm looking for about the 1170 zone let me see here Um, yeah, 1168 is the 233, this congestion here, if cleared, next would be there, about the 1170 zone, there, I'm trying to figure, all right, and then here, down around there, so anyway, if they make it to the 1170 zone, I'm looking to start locking that in <clears throat> and there we go so uh, 1032 Eastern okay they've come down to the 1170 zone <clears throat> so I've tightened tightened to um, 72 which would be 15 ticks blended and I'm going to squeeze that down further if possible so you can see they're um, reacting. Um, it's the usual whippy, spiky stuff in, in the Russell. They're reacting from there. And then next would be down here around the 233. 
and they may very well hit that sometime today. They could before the, before hitting that they could reverse all the way back up and then down multiple times. We have no idea what the actual path might be if indeed they make it lower. And I see they're inside of this early congestion, and so I'm just working that this congestion from yesterday before this uh, vacuum area here, and they backfilled the vacuum, and now this is. Um, congestion all right smaller bars sideways open interest traded there along with volume so that's the idea now going to um, next I'm going to trail to 1170.9 and then 1169.9 and uh, squeeze it down given a chance 1034 all right as you can see they whip down to 1170 area and they've come right up and pinned on where I'd like to trail to. It seems like that always happens. But uh, they take it down just a tad more. About one more tick. I'm going to all right, let's just trail at 78 there cuz it's a little bit whippy. And and that would do. I would be content with that. Um 50 plus ticks on bl on the two blended. And then I'm going to keep squeezing down at the point 0.8 because she's a little on the whippy side. And like I said, 1168 is uh, one target. You can see where they're working their way inside of yesterday's congestion, and they worked their way out of it. <clears throat> All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, 87 ticks in crude, and what would that be? 62 ticks. I'm sorry, 52 ticks in um, in the Russell, and then that. That is it for me today. Done, gone, and finished. You know, I'm liking the 6 a.m. to noon Eastern schedule, and I'm going to stick with this personally until about next April 2015, and then I will. Uh, I might adjust it accordingly to my outdoor pursuits. But so, um, from now until into next year, 6 a.m. to noon is my operating hours, and that includes next week's intensified trading. Uh, program one one week again oh yeah there they go breaking down lower now sure now they drop towards the intended target after they ripped me out so be it done and gone we'll do it again tomorrow have a great one